Good morning, dear hearts. We are in lesson 49. We have one more lesson and then we complete the first 50 lessons and go into our first review. This is a milestone, especially if this is your first year doing the workbook lesson. So be very, very proud of yourself and your accomplishment to complete the first 50 lessons. Truthfully, once that has happened, so much in your life is going to feel differently because you've made this commitment. So I'm very proud of you and hopefully you are as well. Today's lesson, God's voice speaks to me all through the day. Now there are some who might think, well, that's preposterous, but it's absolutely possible. And the lesson tells us this. It's quite possible to listen to God's voice all through the day without interrupting your regular activities in any way. The part of your mind in which the truth abides, where God is, is in constant communication with God, whether you're aware of it or not. Now, we've already spoken of this idea that our minds are split, higher mind, lower mind. The part of our mind, which is the larger part of our mind, is still occupied with God in it. God is the mind with which I think. That part of my mind, the larger portion of my mind, is in constant communication with God, always has been. The smaller part, that part of my mind that I somehow think is separate from God, that is the part that is vying for competition, vying for my attention. But that's also the part of my mind that is not real. It is the separated part. It is the illusory part of my mind. And that is where we are trying and we will succeed because it's guaranteed. That is the part of our mind that we want to quiet. We want to move away from all of the distractions of the ego, all of the noise that the ego makes within our mind that keeps us from realizing that we are indeed in constant communication with God and it's the most natural thing in the world for us to be in constant communication with God. Lesson 41, which was God goes with me wherever I go, says it's quite possible to reach God. In fact, it's very easy because it's the most natural thing in the world. You might even say it's the only natural thing in the world. The most natural thing in the world is for us to connect with God, to know that God is with us, and to listen to the voice for God. He is always there for us. The lesson goes on to say that the part that is listening to the voice for God is calm. That is the, the true part of, of who we are. That is the true part, pardon me, the true part of our mind that is calm, that is serene, that is tranquil, that has peace within it. Peace to, be, to my mind, let all my thoughts be still, is something you will yet hear in the workbook. So it uh, tells us that this is the part of our mind, the lesson tells us this is the part of our mind that is wholly certain and always at rest. It's never in, in, um, in chaos. It's never running around wildly. There's a wonderful line uh, further on in the lesson that talks about the ego mind and, and all of the noise that it makes. And to go, because we, we want to go into the silence that allows us to hear the voice for God. And it says, go past all the raucous shrieks and sick imaginings that cover up your real thoughts. Those raucous shrieks and imaginings, sick imaginings, those are, again, those are like the clouds that we can simply push through and come to God and come to that space where we can hear his voice. We're going to call that space the gap. Many other teachers have done that as well. This is the space we go into in between our breath, plain. In between our breath, in between our thoughts, there is a space and within that space lies every possibility, endless possibilities, all of the peace that God would have us know is in that gap, 
in that gap we go, we sink into it so that indeed we can hear the voice for God so lovingly reminding us that our Creator loves us, our Father loves us, and has never forgotten us. So it's like the lesson says, I t try today to listen to that. Try today to go into that space. Try today to sink in to the gap so that the endless possibilities, all that is real, but all that is true, is all that we listen to. Uh, the practicing are four five-minute sessions. <laughs> I wanted to get it right. And of course, as often as we can throughout the day and more of those five minute sessions if it's possible because it says we will try actually to hear God's voice reminding you of him and of yourself and that's the big s self okay so we're going past the shrieks past the sick imaginings past all the cacophony of the ego and going into the space where we really live and it tells us, you do not live here in this world, in this world of, um, of, of constant illusions and of anger and of chaos. We do not live here. So we are trying to reach our real home. We are trying to reach the place where you are truly welcome. And then this most beautiful line, we are trying to reach God. So... Uh, frequently, as many times as we can throughout the day, stop. We can do it with our eyes open, with our eyes closed. Really closed when possible, but it isn't a requirement. It's just to try to quiet and go into that gap. We don't have to close our eyes to go into that gap between our thoughts or between our breaths. We just have to settle into it. Go into that space knowing that this is the only place you truly want to be. Go into the space and listen. Close your eyes on everything in this world and realize that we are inviting God's voice to speak to us and we are here to listen. That's it for today. I hope this helped. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment. Yes, new flowers. Please pray, pray for all of us to have the most natural thing in the world occur, which is that we connect to our Father, we connect to our Creator, we connect to our Source. Namaste.